Good morning, Captain James Polk here with your daily crime report, TGIF. Isn't it great to be Friday? We've got a few stories for you, some of them pretty good. Grand theft follow-up. Detective Evans arrested Sharonda Logan, 48 years of age, after she stole a 39-inch TV valued at $400 and meat from the Walmart on Southwest Highway 200. The theft occurred on January 5th and she was caught on videotape. Of course, she denies the whole thing. I'm thinking that she was inviting her man over for TV and a dinner, but who knows. Burglary, petty theft. Someone entered an unlocked vehicle. Here we go again. In the 6700 block of Cherry Road and stole a wallet and a tablet. Total loss there was $175. Burglary grand theft at a home 15,000 block of Northeast 146 Court. It was broken into and two flat screen TVs were stolen from that residence. Then we had a criminal mischief. Someone smashed the front door of the pack and sack on East 40. Video of the crime shows that no entry was made, but total damage was $200. Then we had a burglary grand theft. 2002 Yamaha dirt bike was stolen from a home in the 14,200 block of Northwest 21st Court. Total loss there, $1,800. And what have we said about golf carts, four wheelers, and dirt bikes? If you got them, you better keep them under lock and key or else they will be stolen. Burglary grand theft. Someone entered a building that was under construction at St. Mark's Church on Highway 42. They stole copper and tools. Total loss there was $2,800. I have the feeling they're going to pay heavenly for that. Get it? Boom, boom. Petty theft, uh, grand theft auto, Detective Ting Yu, Detective Evans arrested two juveniles for breaking into a Dollar General on July the 6th last year. They stole two bags of chips. Uh, during the investigation, detectives found out that these two juveniles also stole a Toyota four-door valued at $3,000 with the help of another 12-year-old. Uh, the vehicle was recovered and their reason for stealing and doing all of this was because they were just bored. Mom and dad need to make sure they're, they stay busy raking leaves or pulling weeds or something. That's what I had to do when I was young anyway. Anyway, uh, possession of cocaine, driving while license suspended, possession of paraphernalia, the list goes on and on. Latarsha Dawson, she's 35 years of age. She failed to stop uh, as she exited the Vacation Host Inn. Lovely the business there. During the stop, K-9 Thor alerted on the vehicle. Deputies located cocaine and drug paraphernalia. Records show that Dawson's license was also suspended. She's a habitual offender and she had a warrant out for violation of probation. She was arrested for all of that. Burglary, petty theft, fleeing, and grand theft, auto, driving while license suspended. This story is the craziest. Justin Lanzell, 34 years of age. He entered the A-plus mechanic on South Pine. He was caught with his fingers in the peanut butter jar. Actually, he was caught stealing peanut butter from behind the counter. When he was caught by the owner... He fled to Best Buy Auto next door, uh, stole a vehicle there. Once he was stopped by deputies on Lake Weir Avenue, he fled on foot. I guess he just felt like running. Uh, he went just a short distance and of course he was stopped and arrested. You know, who would have known that peanut butter could cause all that? I just don't understand, you know. Choosy moms choose Jif. Hmm. I think I understand why now. Anyway, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Martin Luther King holiday on Monday. Like us, please share us, and happy Friday to you. Anybody got any jelly around here?